Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Disingenuous, that's how the PNP has described the government for painting the opposition as the scapegoat for the country's crime problem. During a press conference today, the PNP also detailed a crime-fighting tool instead of SOEs. Jamela Maitland has details. It's called pre-charge detention. Opposition leader Mark Golding has detailed the crime-fighting tool for the over 300 violence producers announced by police commissioner some time ago. He described how the process would work. A legal procedure can be developed and enacted quickly whereby law enforcement can apply to the Supreme Court, ex parte, that means without notice to the other side, providing supporting affidavits of the credible intelligence that justifies the immediate detention of this individual and seeking a pre-charge detention order in order to protect against that credible risk of serious violence. The enhanced security measure is used in the United States, England, Brazil, among other countries. The detainee would be held for a seven-day period initially, but extensions can be sought by the police as a case is being built against a citizen. However, if the detainee is not charged within a specific time, they must be released. The procedure, as I've said, would be limited in time so that after 49 days from initial detention, the initial seven-day period plus 42 days of extensions, 14 days at a time, after that 49-day period, it, the person must either have been charged or must be released. The affidavit evidence supporting the detention order would not be publicly available in a court file, but would be made available in redacted form to the detainee's defense counsel. Redacted meaning any sensitive information, names of witnesses and so on, would be removed. In defending the opposition stance of not supporting the extension of the SOEs, Mr. Golding blasted the government for painting the PNP as a scapegoat for crime, now at the highest since 2017, when the first SOE was declared. The way in which the parliamentarians of the JLP, both in the House and in the Senate this week, have treated the opposition, the disrespect and aggression that they have shown towards us for standing up for the rights of the Jamaican people and defending and upholding the Constitution in accordance with our oath is frankly disgraceful. Jamila Maitland, TVJ News.